Hi everybody, you are watching the tutorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna explain you how to design this um, app, candy app icon in uh, Gravit Designer. So let's start with a new document, Alt N or Option N on your Mac and I'm gonna size my canvas with the website medium. Click on this chevron icon and select website medium here, 1366 on 768 pixels. Click. Uh, here to bring up a new canvas and on your new canvas first of all we need to grab the clipping marks so head over to my tutorials um, up icon vector grid you can also use uh, the simple rounded rectangle of course but uh, I advise you to use this one copy uh, this clipping mask uh, this outline on the bottom uh, Ctrl C then Ctrl V and size it down and make a duplicate of this scene so we will use the duplicate uh, later in this tutorial now grab the ellipse so click E and create an ellipse that is slightly larger than our icon that we will use uh, as a mask so for our ellipse first delete the border and introduce the fill uh, we will work with this color so let me uh, go to the my swatches apply this color it will be a41010 okay now we need to slice it uh, to the 30 degrees and to prepare our slide head over to the appearance panel and uh, click uh, place a cursor on the first angle field on the left and set it to 90 degrees click enter to apply the changes now for the second field we have 60 degrees and apply the changes so we have the slice which is vertical um, and we need to create 11 duplicates and rotate this around this point in the bottom so how to do it by introducing the transform panel so click on this um, transform button to bring up a panel uh, set the number of copy to 11 set the rotate value in the first field to 30 degrees and what's important guys head over to this uh, representation of your uh, origin point and set it to the bottom left then grab your origin point and put it into the tip of your slice and now we are ready to click apply button and provide this uh, uh, and provide the 11 duplicates of this slice now let's select every odd duplicate by holding Ctrl or Command uh, on your layers panel and just change the color. So let's uh, hide the transform panel by clicking on this um, transform button again. Go to the fields and introduce this color E8C077. Okay, so far so good. Let's select everything here every single ellipse by holding shift key or just draw a marquee and then ctrl g command g on your mark to group them now draw a marquee uh, around everything make sure that one of your outline layers is selected and head over to this clip command on the control panel and clip your design so far so good don't forget to delete the border from your design okay uh, that's wonderful all right now i'm gonna grab this group and apply an effect so head over to the effects panel click on the more then click on the distortion and from distortion choose switch make sure that you are working with the group so click swirl effect select this wheel effect set the radius to around 80 and set the center x around 6 uh, sorry around 40 just like so uh, it looks amazing we are done with this effect and we are done with the working with the group itself now let's work with the outline for this outline we need to apply one effect which is drop shadow 
to introduce the shadow. This effect is by the way arbitrary, but I think for, to make it more realistic we need to add the drop shadow, so positive 20 white volume, uh, increase the blue and set the, uh, set the opacity to 35%. So far so good, we have uh, some kind of effect and let's add a little bit more realism to this effect by introducing the a shadow here all around the surface. So how to do it? Let's copy the outline, let's make a duplicate by holding Alt key and dragging with your left mouse button key. Delete the border and introduce the fill. Make sure that your fill is white, so go to the color picker and change the color to white. Then set the blending mode to, from this drop down on the appearance panel, set the blending mode to multiply. It renders the white color to transparent and th this is exactly what we need because we need to just hold the effect on this layer. Uh, so go to the effect itself, it's inner shadow and apply the inner shadow effect. Here the in sh size of your inner shadow depends on the size of your artwork. For my shadow, first of all, I need to increase the blue value, let's say to 25 first. Let's check it. Oh, okay. I need to increase it at about 35 pixels of blur. Now I can go to the color and introduce this color. It's EE4848. It's amazing. And decrease the opacity to 37%. Click OK to apply the changes. And finally, um, push it a little bit up by introducing the negative value into Y field. So use a down arrow key to reduce it from the top and in increase it on the bottom. Like negative 10 is ok. Now I can advance this effect. I advance the shadow by just making a duplicate from this outline so ctrl d again again and again and again now uh, this is how i can control the shadow on my candy but we need also enhance not only shadow but create the highlights so grab the duplicate again and holding the alt or option key and shift key lift it a little bit up to create a copy on top. You see that designer helps me with the 30 pixels shape. And this is exactly what I need. Now draw a marquee, draw a marquee around them and head over to the subtract and subtract one shape from another shape. And this is exactly the shape we need. We need to Convert it to the path by heading over to control panel and clicking on this convert to the path symbol or use Ctrl Shift P, Command Shift P on your mark. Right now grab the subselect tool or click D and delete unnecessary points. You can also simplify this design by going to the modify path, simplify path, Ctrl Alt S or Command Option S on your mark. So I want to delete the borders and introduce the fields and place it a little bit on top of my shadow, my inner shadow of course. I want to squeeze it a little bit and place it here. So head over to the um, picker and from this drop down select the liner gradient, then arrange the gradient from bottom to top so your main color is white is on bottom and your secondary color is black on top now let's head over to the blending mode and set the blending mode to uh, screen to render the black to transparent again let's do decrease the opacity uh, sorry to 30 percent 
Uh, so far so good, we need to create the same scenes on the top, but using the riser opposite, riser opposite um, blending mode. So I want to set it to multiply right now. But with the multiply to leave the white color, first I want to switch the order of my stops. So click on this icon to switch the order of your stops. Then select the black gradient stop and head over to this pale red just like so you can also play with the transparency value to suit to your needs okay um, this looks good and let me grab the outline again make a copy of this outline delete the effect from this outline and um, i'm gonna walk let me do the copy again and give you different colors so you can see what is going on okay grab a rectangle tool and create a rectangle that covers around one fifth of my outline now i want to create again the clipping mask or even better i want to make the intersection of this color we are working with the compound shape uh, select and uh, convert it to the path again ctrl shift p command shift p with this path selected, but instead of copying all of these steps for this highlight, we just go to this and select this highlight, go to the shared style and create a new shared style. Call it highlight and click create to apply the changes. Now we need to, to save this shared style, sorry. Now we need to select this and apply the shared style to this shape okay it renders it to the transparent and now we can uh, put it on top of our candy and make sure to switch the order of our gradient so our dark is on bottom and top is uh, our light is on top and finally, I also want to create this rounded highlight. Again, I want to use it as a part of my uh, compound shape. So grab the ellipse tool, create an ellipse, make sure that this ellipse intersects somehow. Let me change the color for you. So you can see what is going on. Make sure that your ellipse is intersecting um, somehow shape and again go to the intersect command from this blend sorry boolean shape operators drop down intersect now convert it to the path again uh, put it on top of your layer stack by dragging it here on the last panel and place it on top again apply the uh, highlight shared style and then play with the values of your fields it might be this high or you can diminish it or set just the flat color let's play with the flat color i would rather use the flat color itself okay this looks decent this is the end basically the end of this tutorial if you enjoy this tutorial please give a thumb up subscribe to my channel and share this tutorial with your friends and colleagues don't forget to visit tutorials.net for more Adobe Illustrator and Graphic Designer tutorials. And join the Graphic Designer Facebook communities, Graphic Designer tutorials and Graphic Designer user groups. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day.